YouTubers. We have two GoPros in the tractor, as you can see. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to address a couple of questions that I usually get every winter, but what happens to the answers is they get buried in with other videos. So this is going to be like a, it's just a, a video on this particular situation. So the two questions that I get the most is, hey Paul, do you use the float position for your front end loader for your FEL? The second question is, is how do you steer your tractor with the plow on? And believe it or not, they're really, really good questions because if you master using your FEL, your tractor won't work so hard, you won't work so hard, and you also will get frustrated because there's nothing worse than turning them front tires and the tractor not steering. So that's what this is going to be about. I spent, for those of you who don't know me, I spent many, many years on heavy equipment. And there's two things I always done on heavy equipment, and heavy equipment operators will tell you the same thing. It's one hand on the steering wheel, if so equipped, because nowadays some of them don't have them. But always have your hand on the FEL control. Now, some people might be saying, well, what the heck is float position? Well, float position, well, here's what you got. You pull back, your blade goes up. You push down, your blade goes down. If you go side to side, well, that's your tilt up and down if you had a bucket on. This one's a little different. It's equipped with a OEM third function. So when you turn it on, it will also tilt the blade. Now, float position is a whole different beast. If you keep your hand down on it like this, you can jack up the front of the loader. Like that. But, if you go one step further, that's in float position. Float position is used, well, people use it for everything, but what it's supposed to be used for is if you're on, say, a straight road, and you have a situation where the row has got a lot of ups and downs to it and you say you're plowing. Float position is a good position to have it in. But remember, I said straight. It's nice to have a straight road. Because what happens with these tractors, when you put it in float mode and you start putting some pressure on the blade or pressure on the bucket, that pressure causes the weight to go on the bucket, but it also causes the front end to lighten up a little bit. And when that front end lightens up a little bit, that means that your front wheels lighten up a little bit. And when your front wheels lighten up a little bit, you lose steering control. So, to answer the first question, uh, do you use float, float mode? Not very often. Maybe if I had the push blade on and I was plowing straight parking lot, you know, and I wanted to have a sip of coffee, I would uh, put it in float mode, and while I was driving, i take my coffee. That's the only time I would use it. It's a good feature in the right situation. With a blade taking turns like you see in our driveway, a lot of turns, it's not worth your while to use, not worth my while to use float mode. Uh, now, that gets back to the second question. Let's get back to the second question. The second question was, uh, how do you steer it with the blade? Well, I certainly don't use float mode. What I use is just put it down until it just barely touches the ground because the idea here now is to keep as much weight on those front tires as, as possible. And if I put it in float mode, that means the front end comes up. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep the weight on front wheels. It gives us better steering control while we're turning. So let's go have a look. I have some snow left over from the other day. And uh, now I'm going to put it in float mode. I got my wheels cut. Now she's going, still going straight. Oh, she's turning a little bit, but not much. 
Now, if I don't put it on float mode, I put my bucket down, as you can see up in the corner, and I just take a little bit of weight back. In other words, if I pull my blade not off the ground, but just up enough to put the weight back on the front wheels, now I'll make the turn. See how turn how fast I can or how sharp I can turn? So we'll do it again. Float mode. Wheels are cut right to the left. Now she's just barely starting to turn. So you can see the difference with float mode and not. If you look at a seasoned heavy equipment operator, his hand is always on the FEL control. Why? Because really, he's dictating how the tractor acts or how his machine acts by using the FEL. So if you don't, if you want to turn, you keep feathering your FEL and it's going to turn while you're still cleaning your your area. So that, that's a big plus. So we'll go ahead now and we'll take up the scoop there and we'll move to the side. See, I got the weight off now. And I can turn it wherever I want to go because I don't have a float mode. Now, that's pretty crusty, that stuff there now, but let's, uh, let's have a look. Float mode. Hang on. Let's loosen her up a bit. I kind of set this up to do it for you uh, a couple of days ago, but I never got a chance to do it because I had an eye injury and I really couldn't see what I was doing. So now we're going to put down float mode. Now I'm going to try to take the turn. See, it's just going straight. It's doing nothing but going straight. The wheels are cut right over. See if I can get this camera down to show you where the wheels are. You can see there that they're, they're, they're cut right over. So, it's critical that you, if you want steering control, you stay out of float mode. And also, by staying out of float mode, you have steering control. So let's go at this again and show you something else. A little bit of weight off. Here we go. And we still push the snow and we still maintain steering control. So get used to using your FEL. Get into the habit. If you have to, glue your hand to the control. That way you'll be able to uh, learn how to use it and you'll become a much better operator. I'm going to give you a little tip too. This is, this, uh, I wasn't going to include this in the video, but if it helps somebody from damaging their tractor or other property, it's worth doing it now. On, uh, when you're using a blade, especially with this one, when it's got angle, so the blade is on angle there now. It's angled to the right. If there was a car in the parking lot to my left and I was getting close and I wanted to hit that snow bank, because of the angle of the blade, you'll see what happens. It'll actually start to drive me over towards the vehicle and I could potentially hit the vehicle. Now, don't ask me how I know. <laughs> no, I never hit the vehicle. But there's a number of times I kind of forgot what I was doing when I was snow clearing commercially. And I said, I must remember never to go by a vehicle with my blade angled. And uh, a couple of times getting close calls, I caught on pretty quick. The other side of the thing too, uh, the problem with hitting a pile like that with your blade angled, if you don't have a relief valve on your front blade, and you hit that pile, you hit it hard, that can put so much pressure on your hydraulic lines that you can actually split a line or break a line somehow, and uh, it can't happen. So that's why you'll see manufacturers like Arctic using uh, pressure relief valves uh, up, on their <clears throat> up on their blade. So your lines plug right into that. If you haven't, 
they have like a shock system built into it and uh, and it prevents any damage to your tractor but yeah so what you got to do is you just got to get used to uh, using your FEL and uh, don't use float stay away from float unless you're straight going straight and uh, you can control wherever you want to go with it and I'm telling you it makes operating the machine much more pleasurable and less frustrating people might notice today I have my old arctic blade on and the reason why for that is because it's much easier to uh, to demo with this blade on because the new arctic blade has uh, the side wings on and we got a lot of snow coming for Tuesday and I didn't want to take the uh, side wings off just for the uh, sake of doing this short video so folks I hope this helped you practice 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 like with anything you'll get real good at it but the only reason why that should come off your hand should come off of that is when you're drinking a coffee Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, don't forget to check out our website. It's in the video description for Kubota accessories. And uh, we'll see you next time around. So you guys take care. God bless.